Hey everybody, welcome back to Crimson and Cream Machine's 12 Teams in 12 Days. Today we're looking at the Kansas State Wildcats. The Sooners will host the Wildcats on September 22nd, be the second home game of the season for Oklahoma this year. The Wildcats were 10-3 last season, uh, unexpectedly were 10-3 last season, taking the Big 12 Conference by surprise. Uh, Bill Snyder working his magic up in Manhattan. However, Kansas State does have a 17-71-4 all-time record against the Sooners and the contest held in Manhattan last year. Oklahoma walked away with a 58-17 win over Kansas State. The Kansas State offense averaged 33.1 points per game in 2011, propelled by quarterback Colin Klein, whom our very own Jordan Esco may have a man crush on. Not for sure there, but we know he really likes him. Klein passed for 1,918 yards, 13 touchdowns, but also what he did with his feet was run for another 1,141 yards and 27 rushing touchdowns. He is the catalyst that makes the Kansas State offense turn. Defensively, Kansas State finished below the pack in points allowed per game, giving up just under 28 points per contest. They also allowed opposing quarterbacks to pretty much have their way with an average of 267 yards given up through the air. However, that doesn't mean that they are void of defensive talent. One of the guys to keep an eye on is linebacker Arthur Brown, whose 101 takedowns in 2011 led the Wildcat defense. So the fear factor in this game is just simply this. Kansas State has the potential to possibly overpower the Sooners up front. This will be the stiffest competition Oklahoma has faced through their first three games on the rushing front. Yes, Kansas State is rebuilding their offensive line, but can, when you consider that Oklahoma just suspended starting defensive tackle Stacy McGee indefinitely, as well as breaking in two new defensive ends and a couple new linebackers, it's easy to see this going bad for the Sooners. However, that's in the best case scenario for Kansas State. The best case scenario for the Sooners is that they continue to defend their home field like they've done under Bob Stoops. Hey, make sure to check us out every day as we continue our countdown, 12 teams in 12 days as we approach the 2012 college football season. For SB Nation's CrimsonandCreamMachine.com, I'm Matt Hofeld.